Apple has officially released macOS 26.2 Beta 1, build 25C5027i, for developers. The public beta is expected to follow soon. This update supports all Macs compatible with macOS 26 Tahoe, including M1 through M4 models and Intel Macs from 2019 and newer. The download size depends on the device, around 5.7 GB on the M1 MacBook Air and about 6.1 GB on the M4 MacBook Pro. It installs over macOS 26.1 and keeps full compatibility with Apple Intelligence-ready hardware, though those AI features are still limited to US English. The build number, 25C5E27i, indicates an early test version focused on internal optimization and bug stabilization. Although macOS doesn't use a baseband modem like iOS, Apple has updated the continuity and Wi-Fi firmware for connected iPhones and iPads. These improvements enhance handoff, airdrop, and universal clipboard performance across devices. macOS 26.2 brings a set of small but noticeable refinements that make the system feel more polished and cohesive. Apple News, the sidebar has been redesigned for simplicity. Sections like Sports and Puzzles are now grouped under the Search tab, while Favorites and Library have been slightly repositioned for a cleaner layout. This makes browsing headlines and categories feel more intuitive and less cluttered. Apple TV App All mentions of TV Plus have been replaced with Apple TV. The rebranding now matches the naming used across iOS and tvOS, giving the entire ecosystem a consistent look and feel. You'll also see the updated name reflected across menus, settings, and system dialogues. Safari. The browser gets subtle visual updates. Hovering over toolbar buttons such as Reload, Reader, or Translate now triggers a smooth highlight animation, making interactions feel more responsive. Apple also added small glyph icons across menu items like New Window and Clear History, improving both clarity and accessibility. Podcasts app. The app now opens with a refreshed welcome screen and adds new functionality. Episodes support chapter markers, allowing quick navigation through segments. A new From This Episode section lists links, mentions, and references directly connected to the content, giving users an interactive listening experience. Focus Mode – Sleep The sleep focus has received a visual change. Its indicator color has shifted from green to purple, creating a calmer and more distinctive look. The new shade visually separates it from other focus modes and may hint at future updates to Apple's sleep tracking ecosystem. Calendar Widget The calendar widget has been refreshed to better adapt to your chosen system accent color. Animations feel smoother and date transitions now follow the new liquid glass motion style for a more seamless appearance. These refinements may seem subtle, but together, they show Apple's ongoing effort to refine the liquid glass design language introduced with macOS Tahoe, making the entire interface feel lighter, smoother, and more unified. Performance in macOS 26.2 remains consistent with version 26.1. According to Geekbench 6 results, the average score reaches around 3919 points in single core and 15445 points in multi-core performance on M2 and M3 Max. These results are nearly identical to the previous release. System responsiveness feels slightly faster in areas like System Settings and Safari, where animations and scrolling now run with fewer dropped frames, even on older M1 models. Apps running through Rosetta 2 translation for Intel continue to launch quickly and perform without noticeable slowdowns. Thermal control also remains stable. During everyday multitasking and moderate workloads, M-Series Macs typically stay between 32 and 38 degrees Celsius, rising to around 45 degrees under heavier load. No major reports of overheating, excessive fan noise, or background thermal spikes have been observed. Battery performance shows similar stability. Users report around 6 to 7 hours of mixed use on the MacBook Air M2 and about 10 to 11 hours on M3 Pro models. The optimized charging feature continues to protect long-term battery health, and most testers still report 100% health capacity after months of daily usage. The macOS 26.2 installation requires approximately 15.7 gigabytes of space, slightly less than 26.1, due to improved compression of system assets. 
Apple has also reduced the size of cached translation files and unused fonts, helping some users reclaim between 1 and 2 gigabytes of free storage after updating. On the M3 Max MacBook Pro, early benchmark tests show a single-core score of 3,919, a multi-core score of 15,445, and a metal GPU score of around 108,000. These numbers match the results from macOS 26.1, confirming that 26.2 focuses on stability, visual polish, and background optimization instead of raw performance gains. Apple has also included several silent security patches in this build. A WebKit fix, identified as CVE-2021-2, addresses a remote code execution vulnerability triggered by malicious web content. Core Media and ImageIO components were updated to improve protection against corrupted media files. System Integrity Protection received stronger validation against unsigned kernel extensions, enhancing system safety at a low level. And the Apple File System, APFS, now validates snapshots more efficiently reducing the chance of data corruption when shutting down or restarting the Mac. Overall, macOS 26.2 Beta 1 is a refinement-driven update. It delivers cleaner visuals, smoother animations, improved icons, and noticeably higher stability across core apps. While it doesn't add major new features, it feels more cohesive and reliable than earlier 26.0 and 26.1 builds. For testers, this beta is considered stable enough for daily use with Beta 2 expected soon to add further fixes and final polish.